here with one of my barbecue idols, don't mean to embarrass you, Ray, <laughs> Dr. Barbecue, Ray Lappy, in the middle of writing his, or you're all Just, finished with your well, night. Well, editing book. starts when I get home from vacation. Okay, so, yeah, the man's been around a little bit. I've read quite a few of his books, and uh, when I heard he was going to be in San Diego, a mutual friend of ours, Todd, said, want to come have lunch with Ray Lampy? I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. And I so, heard there was going to be good barbecue, so I showed up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're here at Grand Old Barbecue, Andy Harris's place. And uh, which just keeps getting voted, by the way, like the third list now of like the best new barbecue in San Diego. I, 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 my expectations were not nearly as high as the quality of the food. The food's excellent here. I, I was expecting maybe some, I expected it to be too smoky, like some kind of fake Texas barbecue. Not at all. Outstanding right. food here, really. I'm not kidding. Right, yeah. Well, that's, that's why we love it, too. I mean, he has a lot more of experience of eating barbecue all over the country, which I've just barely started doing. In England now, a big barbecue I know. in England. Do you know, when I was at a competition a couple of years ago, I tried some UK barbecue. It was some of the best ribs I've ever had, and everybody knows I'm the rib girl, so I was really impressed. Yeah, very cool. Well, Ray, thank you so much for coming here today, meeting a lot of my foodie friends, and really excited to meet you. Thank you so much. Can I have a hug? Oh, you can have a hug. Oh, right on. Yes, you can have a hug. Says his fiance. <laughs> <laughs>